Hi, you guys. Thank you so much for purchasing our nail template. I'm here to just kind of give you a quick walkthrough as to how to use our easy templates. One of the most important things that you want to do is make a copy of your download file and save as a master. This right here is the nail decal file in which you will be receiving through the Etsy download. All you have to do is right click, go to copy, right click anywhere on your desktop, and go to paste. Now you have a copy of your nail decal templates. Next, download and save images to your desktop. We have provided three different links here that has stock photos. So you could just go on, uh, right click on the photo and press save as and save it to your desktop. The instructions are the same no matter which nail decal template that you choose. I'm going to right click and hit open. This is now opening up Photoshop CC and you see your file. My file have the guides on them. To turn those off, you just want to go up to view and hit extras. On the left hand side over here, these are the tools. On the right hand side, you will see that this is where your layers panel is. And it's very important to pay attention to what layer that you are on. So we're going to go to File, Place Embedded, go to your images. The first image that I'm going to take will be this one, and I'm just going to hit Place. And I just want this image to fit into this box right here. So I'm going to take this corner and size it down. I'm going to scoot this over just by clicking on it and dragging it. And I want to make it a little bit bigger because I want to ensure that I'm filling that full box. And I'm going to hit enter. Once you hit enter, you can see that the picture has went over into the other two boxes. Hit Control T on my keyboard. And I am going to bring this picture in just a little bit more. Perfect. And then I'm going to press Enter. The next step I'm going to do is I'm going to double click over on the Layers panel on my picture. And this allows me to rename it. Right click and drag this layer into place images here. Next step, we're going to delete this part of the picture. You're going to right click, rasterize layer. What this allows you to do is that will, it will allow you to edit the picture. Next step, Go over to your tools, right click on the rectangular marquee tool, and you're going to draw a box, a rectangle, around the part of the picture that you do not want. So it will look like this, and you will hit delete on your keyboard. To get rid of this box, you're going to go up to right click on select, and right click deselect. One important tool is the zoom tool. Right over here, you just click on the zoom tool. And at the top, you can see the plus and the minus. I like using the plus so that I can really get in. And you can see that in this area right here, I took a little too much off the picture. So what I'm going to do is go over to the move tool. And I am going to make sure that my, that I'm on the actual picture layer. That's very important that you're on the correct layer. And I'm going to go down to my keyboard and use the arrow key just to move the picture over just a little bit to ensure that that is completely covered with his picture. That is how you place your picture. You will continue doing this until you are done filling up 
all of the shapes. So for myself, I'm just going to fill up these six shapes. And then I'm going to duplicate these pictures and bring them down here. Delete. You can see I had to bring this picture down a little bit and over, but it covered the full shape. I'm going to double click to make sure that these layers stay organized so that I know which picture is which. So if you are unsure of what picture that you need to adjust, just right click on the eye. You can turn it on and turn it off. When you first bring the picture in, you're not able to resize it from these sides. Well, you can, but it won't let you manipulate it as much until you hit Enter and Control T. This will minimize the photo. To get the full picture in there, all of your bubbles are completely filled. And it looks like I can actually move this picture over just a tad. So I'm going to go over to find that picture, and it's already on there. And I'm going to use my arrow key, making sure that my tool is on the Move tool. If my tool is not on the Move tool, my photo will not move. And you want to make sure that you're on the correct layer image. Perfect. Two little scoops and it fit perfectly. Next I'm going to click, right click, hold, and drag down to this paper that has a fold. And right away you can see that there's a copy that has been made. Place images here, copy. I'm going to make sure that I'm over here on my move tool. And then I'm going to go down to my keyboard and just press the arrow down button. For it to move faster, you can hold shift and the arrow down button. And you can see how all the images drop straight down. I need to cut this off right here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the place images here, copy. Click down, and I'm going to find which copy, or excuse me, which picture that is that I need to write there. There it is. So I'm going to make sure I'm on this layer. I'm going to go over to my rectangular tool, and I am going to delete that piece. And remember, because I'm on the specific layer, it's only going to delete the part of the picture that I want gone. That's it. Notice that I did not have to rasterize that layer because it's a copy, which means that it has already been rasterized. So I don't have to worry about that when it comes down to the folder, um, the folder of the place images here, copy. And I'm going to go ahead and close that folder up. Now it's time to change your logo. We're going to left click on the logo folder. And this is where you are going to change your name. 
And again, you can use the eye to see which one we're going to be changing. So it's right there. If you do plan on selling your water decals, I would suggest um, keeping your logo on there, putting your name on there as well as your website so that you're able to promote yourself. So what I'm going to do is make sure that I'm on the correct layer and we're going to change this to whatever website that you want to change it to. And you have to make sure that your tool is on, on the text tool. And I'm just going to click right on the inside and use my arrows to change the website. And I'm going to put in dope bubble com and then I'm going to go over to change to your name I'm going to click on this layer using the arrow keys and I'm going to erase what's in there and again I'm going to add my logo or company name and hit enter. If you want to change the text, all you have to do is go over to window and character. This will allow you to change to different fonts, different sizes. Um, there's so many different options that you can do. And just to show you, let me make sure that I'm on my text here. And I'm just going to highlight this. So that and use my arrow keys so that you guys can see there's so many different texts that you can choose from so whichever text that you love best lastly if you do plan on selling these and you have a website that you want to put your pictures there is a watermark that you can use that you just click here and you can see that it kind of provides the watermark line so no one will steal your work so this is also a really great option to use if you plan on selling your photos online on Instagram on your website on Facebook whichever social media platform you choose um, I'm gonna turn it off for now because these are ones that I plan on printing so the next most important step here is that we need to save our document as a JPEG. Go to File, Save As, name it, and then it says Save As Type. Use the drop down box, find JPEG, and hit Save. I want the quality to be at 12, the maximum. And I'm going to hit OK. Here is our nail decal that I'm going to double click on, our completed one. From here, I'm able to press print. Thank you guys so much for purchasing our nail decal template. Please, you guys, if you find this uh, template to be helpful or exactly what you were looking for, please give us five stars on Etsy. Um, that is what we are aiming for, as well as just you can just drop a brief comment. It doesn't have to be anything long, but we appreciate it so much. Um, just letting us know as far as like, hey, you know, their instructions are great. The template is amazing. Um, anything, please just, you know. Help us out over here at Dope Bubble. Thank you guys so much again for your purchase. And if you shall need any more help, please send us a message. Thank you.